Hello everyone and welcome to Monkeyfish channel. In today's video, let's talk about tactical whip and baton. So, in my video, I'm going to use this self-made tactical whip because I don't have any sponsors. If you want to know how I make this one, then you can watch my video here. So, first time I have seen this self-defense tool on Hard to Hurt channel and when I have seen it, I was thinking that there's no way this can be better than Paton. But then I have seen one video which changed my mind and I did also some sparrings against sticks and then I was thinking that actually this can be better for self-defense. I asked Icy Mike if I can use some of his clips in my video and he was nice enough and allow me to do it so because of that I don't have to test it on myself and I'm really happy about that. This It's a fucking whip! We're gonna test this out, I'm gonna let you hit me with it, we're gonna go up by percentages. What do you, how, what percentage do you think I'm gonna be able to take? Um, 25. Ah! I was thinking 10. <laughs> give, me a, give me 10%, follow through man. Mm. 15%. Mm. That's 15%? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god. You don't want 25 in that, do you? The tip, I felt the tip. Oh. <laughs> so, I have seen a lot of people who test this uh, self-defense tool by hitting some things or hitting each other, but I haven't seen yet anyone who tested in sparring. So, I decided to do it. 20, right, reaching. That was a good one. Whoa. Give me one just like that, right here. Right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so for sparring, I make my own sparring version of this self defense tool because I was thinking that it's not smart to hit each other with this, even if this is not full contact. So I make uh, this one and actually I have a little bit problem uh, with this because I wanted to feel it when I get hit with that. My first idea was just to put normal string on the top but this was not hard enough. So then I was thinking maybe I should use the rubber snake but this is hard. <laughs> so I found this uh, plastic and this is a cover for the sole and this is pretty okay because you can still feel it but it's not that hard and the handle is a PVC pipe and on the top I put some foam so if you are in the very close uh, range then you can use some hammer fist or something like this so yeah this is the thing what I'm going to use in the sparring before I'm going to show you sparring footage I would like to share with you my own test on 10 kilos block of clay and I know you're going to tell me that clay is soft but actually it's pretty tough you're going to see on the video bang Okay, so when I test it on this block of clay, then I find out that when you go full power, boom, boom, then sometimes this can bounce and hit your forearm. But I don't think it's a big problem because this will left maybe some small mark on your forearm, which is going to disappear in half hour, maybe one hour. But this thing going to stop your opponent for sure because this is going to probably cut his skin 
left some really nice scar on his face. I think it only takes one shot. I don't think you can hit somebody in the face with this. No, I think you would rip somebody's face off if you did. You'd fuck them up. In my opinion, it's a pretty okay deal when you stab your opponent and maybe you will get some mark on your forearm which is going to disappear really soon because not always you hitting yourself okay so now it's time to show you clips from my sparring and i spar four different people with different background different skill level so we can see different tactics different methods and my mission in this sparring is to not get hit too many times try to disarm them just survive and yeah let's go From my experience after those sparrings, I can tell you that this is a pretty mean self-defense tool slash weapon because you can feel it a lot and you cannot see that in the sparring because it's difficult to see that. Sometimes you are focused about somebody's arm, you try to catch his arm but you get hit anyway. In a few sparrings I have a hoodie on and it wasn't that bad because I could not feel that much. I could feel the hits but it wasn't that bad but in few spines i have just t-shirt or run guard then i could feel a lot but i can imagine that if you use the real one oh yeah you can feel that i use i see my videos to not do this <laughs> yeah you can feel it through hoodie and this wasn't hard hit so probably if somebody hit like Oh, I hit myself again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, my leg. Yes. I can imagine if somebody do this like really hard, then probably you're going to feel a lot and probably will give up. So in this video, I want to be focused about tactical whip, not really about baton, but I'm going to compare these two to each other just to show the difference. Let's start with baton. Probably in many cases, this would be completely enough. You can probably scare somebody just by opening this thing. But let's talk about the fighting. If you want to use full potential of this self-defense tool, then you have to use this part because this part is the most powerful part of your weapon. So you have maybe one or two super powerful strikes, but then your weapon gets slower and weaker. And the problem with the stick or baton is, is that when you swing really hard and he close the distance, this creating a lever and then you can drop your weapon. I have tried this many times that me or my uh, sparring partners will drop the weapon like this just because of this situation here. With the whip it's no problem like this because whip just go through and it doesn't matter what kind of distance you are. 
of course you can hit yourself but as I said before this guy is going to feel much more than you and you have to remember that it's not like in the movies that you know one strike and he goes sleep many times you can see on the videos like police officers they hit somebody with the uh, stick in the legs or arms and nothing happening so normally it probably will look like this that you go here boom boom and then your weapon gets slower and slower and maybe you will drop it but because you have to remember that this is not a sword you will not go no you're going to stop and he goes and try to take it away he's going to put his hands on the front so it's going to be not that easy and with this thing it's not it's completely different and when you come closer then of course you can use this ice picking uh, style of strikes or you can go for some grappling or maybe you can hit like this but this is not really powerful strikes you can also do the same with the uh, whip that you can go for some grappling or you can go here and also you can do ice picking style of strikes uh, other things what I can see different with these two weapons is that this thing you can see all the time when somebody's swinging your eyes can track in this weapon all the time so you know how to uh, keep a distance or you know how to dodge it with this thing you cannot really see and I try to in my spine I try to use similar strategy for both of those weapons so you know normally you would try to be far enough so he cannot hit you or close enough so he cannot hit with full power but against this thing it doesn't work that well because you cannot really see that so you don't know the distance so many times you get hit just just because you don't know what hit you and when you come close this still can hit you and you still cannot see the end of the of the of the weapon so I try to be focused about the hand so I try to grab the hand but I still was getting hit by this thing so uh, things what you can do with the baton and you can do with the whip is uh, stabbing boom boom and a lot of people like to say that you know stab is really big thing but I don't think it's a really huge game changer because you know this is not a sword it will not you know go through it can just hit you and and because this is just a stick it's not that scary so in my sparrings I many times when somebody tries to stab me I grab the stick and I hit with my own weapon the guy by holding the stick was much more difficult to stop it or grab it when somebody swing the uh, stick but when somebody try to stop me I, I I catch it many times and I don't know why people are saying that stabbing is a really big deal it's painful but it's not a sword in my opinion it's much easier to disarm somebody with the stick than with this thing but I do not say that it's not possible to disarm somebody with this because I did it and it was not easy and I think I have a lot of luck to do it but I did it okay slowly I had nothing more to say so it's time to go to the end so summarizing with the baton you can stab with the whip you cannot in my opinion baton can hit harder but this thing also hit really hard but you will just experience different type of pain and I think it's much easier to catch the baton and disarm somebody than catch this thing but it's also possible to do it but it's much harder and yeah I think this is it I do not say that this is bad but I just think that this might be a little bit better to carry in your pocket than this everything is depend on the person if you prefer this thing if you prefer this thing your decision what I can know I am just a keyboard warrior I am not an expert I am not a master I'm just a hobbyist what I can know and yeah this is it I would like to say huge thank you to IC Mike from Hard to Hard channel because he allowed me to use his footage in my video and you should go and check out his channel because he's a great guy with great content so this is it thank you for watching see you next time